Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about the reading plans that I have for January of 2022. Baby, baby. Happy 2022 everyone, this is going to be my first video for 2022 on this channel. If you're not following me on Instagram or you did not see my community post here on YouTube a couple weeks ago, I did not post a lot of videos towards the end of December or the last week of December, essentially. A couple days before Christmas, I ended up experiencing a health emergency with my chronic illness. It was really bad, it's the worst um, episode that I've ever had in my entire life. I actually have a video, if you wanna check it out, if you're curious or you wanna know more about chronic illnesses, or if you're curious about my chronic illness POTS in general and what a flare up or an episode is like for me, I made a video describing my experience. It is linked down below on my other YouTube channel. I have another YouTube channel that I'm planning on posting videos on this year filled with celiac disease, cooking, baking, and chronic chronic illness related content for you. I know that's not everybody's cup of tea, so I totally understand if you're not into that, but um, if you wanna know where I've been or what I've been doing for the past couple weeks, um, you could check out that video if you want to. So because of my whole um, health emergency, I didn't read a lot of books in December and um, I didn't read a lot of books on my December TBR. So I am hoping on reading the books that I have planned in my January TBR. They're all books that I am dying to read that I wanna read so incredibly badly. So there are some books not included on this list from my December TBR that I'm going to move to January, but I'm not gonna talk about them because I don't wanna be repetitive. I have a bunch of books in my December TBR that I haven't read yet, as well as some member picks, which I'm gonna talk about in a second, some member picks that I haven't read yet because of what I've been going through recently. I was gonna binge all my member picks that I haven't read yet in December, but that ended up not happening. I'm currently reading one right now. So um, you'll get some in my uh, January wrap up for sure. Anyway, so speaking of member picks, if you don't know, I have channel memberships here. And one of the perks for being a channel member of mine is um, giving me Kindle Unlimited recommendations. I put the recommendations on a spinner wheel and then I spin it in every single TBR video. Whatever book it lands on, I have to read that month. And then I will talk about it in depth in my weekly reading vlogs. And my weekly reading vlogs are dedicated to only my channel members. So if you join my channel, there's a join button down below. Uh, you can have access to all of the reading vlogs that I do. I make them available only for channel members because they do get a little personal and I talk a little bit more about my life. And I know that's not really everybody's cup of tea and they don't really wanna watch stuff like that. So I ended up screen recording this spinner wheel because I'm currently filming on my iPad and that's where my spinner wheel is with, is with all of the book picks. And so here it is, this is me um, spinning it. I ended up landing on, um, Jen's pick <laughs> again. Um, Jen has picked a few of these. She's been wanting me to read this book for forever. It is called Viper by Naomi Lucas. This is the first book in the Naga Brides series. And this is an alien romance series dealing with Naga creature aliens. And that is all I know. And that's all I'm going to know. I don't want to know anything else. I know Jenna's talked about this book a bunch. I have a horrible memory, so I don't really remember what goes on in this book. Um, but I know that Jen loves this and she's been dying for me to read this series. I think she finished the series or the first three books this year or last year. That's hard to say, last year. <laughs> and I will be uh, obviously reading it in my uh, member weekly reading vlogs for y'all. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to read this and I'm totally in the alien romance mood, so I'm super excited. Okay, so let's get into the books that I picked. First, we're gonna talk about books that I have coming in the library for me on Libby. First, I have A Touch of Stone and Snow by Mila Vane. This is a fantasy romance book and it is the continuation to A Heart of Blood and Ashes, which was one of my favorite books last year of 2021. I think this is a friends to lovers, if I'm not mistaken. I think some people have told me that, but I'm not gonna read the summary for this one. I wanna go into this one blind because that's what I kind of did with the last book and I had so much fun and I can't wait to dive into this. The audiobook is already ready for me to dive into and I'm gonna listen to it as soon as possible. Next, I have The Mistletoe Motive by Chloe Lees. I know it's already past Christmas, but who cares if I read a Christmas book? after Christmas, y'all. I'm I'm still kind of in the Christmassy mood. I think I'm more specifically in the Chloe Lee's mood because her writing is just beautiful. I need to read this. And I have a lot of people telling me that I need to read this. <laughs> actually, this book was kindly sent to me by Valentine PR. They actually also sent me a Kobo to read along with it because this is a Kobo original. And I would show you the Kobo, but it's next door. But yeah, they sent me a flipping Kobo. A Kobo. <laughs> I'll talk about that more in my next book haul. 
that I talk about, but they sent me a Kobo and a code to download this book for free. And I am so excited because I love Chloe Lee so much. And um, I'm honestly also waiting for the audiobook to come in because there is an audiobook for it and it's on Libby for me. Like it's through my library. And so I'm, I'm patiently waiting for that too. Okay, so it looks like this romance is between Gabriella and Jonathan. And Jonathan doesn't like Christmas. He's very Scrooge-like and Gab Gabriella loves the holiday season and they end up working together at the city's most beloved independent bookstore. It's called Bailey's Bookshop. And so I think that the two of them team up together to help the bookstore because the bookstore is in financial ruin almost and they're trying to save it so they don't become unemployed and I think they end up obviously falling in love with one another. I love her authentic realistic representations in her books for diversity. I think they're beautiful and amazing and just awesome to read about honestly. <laughs> then another audiobook that comes in through Libby for me is Never Little Highlander by Maya Banks. This is the next book in the McCabe series, the last book in the McCabe series for me. Um, this one is about Kaylin and uh, Riona and you see them throughout the series. Kaylin, I believe, is the youngest brother in the McCabe uh, family, and Riona is the woman that has been rejected or passed off to each brother, so she was supposed to marry because she's of a different clan than the McCabes, um, and so they want to form an alliance between their clans, and so she was going to marry the guy from book one, and then she got pushed to the guy from book two and the guy from book two fell in love. So she got pushed to the guy from book three. <laughs> and so she's kind of being kind of not rejected, but kind of like pushed off to the side by each man that she's supposed to marry. Um, and so Kaylin is finally like, I will marry this woman so we can have an alliance. And so yeah, Kaylin never wanted to get married, but here he is. And then Riona is a um, warrior woman. She loves to fight and battle with the guys. Um, and I think there's going to obviously be a clash here because Caitlin has some pretty distinct views on how wives and women should act. Um, so I'm excited for this banter for just this romance in general. I love Maya Banks' historicals, so I'm very much looking forward to this one, obviously. At the end of 2021, I ended up reading the first book in the Hathaway series by Lisa Kleipas. And so for the rest of this month, I kind of want to binge the rest of the Hathaway series. So the next book that I have to read is Seduce Me at Sunrise, which is the book I'm currently reading and really enjoying so far. So The Hathaways is another like family sibling series that Lisa Claypus has written. I'm just gonna talk about the second one but I do want to try and prioritize the rest of the series as well when I get to them. Um, this one is about uh, Mary Penn and Wynn. So Mary Penn is a Ro Romani? 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 <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm so sorry. Who the Hathaways has t have taken in since he was a around a teenager or kind of like a tween age, and he has stayed with their family for years. And the main reason why he has stayed with the Hathaway family is because of Wynn, because he is utterly in love with Wynn, but he feels like he will never deserve her because he's a Romani man and she is a genteel lady of society woman. But Wynn loves Mary Penn so much and she just wants him to acknowledge her and to finally admit their feelings for one another and he can't do it. And so this is going to be the push and pull relationship between Wynn and Mary Penn and I'm really liking this uh, so far and when I was reading book one all I wanted to do was read their story so badly because their tension in book one was high. <laughs> Next I also want to read the rest of the Spiders Mate series by Tiffany Roberts. I don't know when this video is going up but if it's before uh, January 8th, I'm actually going to be um, on a live show with Tiffany Roberts on Jen from the Book Refuge channel, along with Justin from Justin Reads Romance. We're all gonna be talking to Tiffany Roberts, the author duo, and I absolutely adore them so much. Um, so I've been wanting to read more of their books. And I did read the first book in this series, um, a couple months ago, I want to say, by Jen's request. <laughs> and so the next book I have to read is Enthralled. And then the last one is called Bound. Um, the Bound just came out a couple days ago. But this alien romance series is a spider alien romance series. A human woman ends up crashing on this planet and this spider creature ends up saving her and they fall in love and they're mates and everything. And it's so cute. The whole entire trilogy is based around the same couple, which I'm super excited about. Um, Cause normally you don't really see that, especially with alien romances. They're normally like, one book is about one couple and it moves on to the next one. I really love Keaton and Ivy, so I can't wait to read more of their romance in January. Next, I have a book my best friend wants me to read so badly. So this is for you, Katie. She really wants me to read From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. She binged the entire series last month and she wants me to read them so badly. And so 
I'm gonna do it. I have the audiobook from Audible. I need to listen to it already. This is for her, okay? <laughs> um, I'm honestly scared to read this um, just because I know that people love it, but then there are people who hate it. And so I'm always scared that I'm gonna hate it. I'm kind of going away from the new adult genre, honestly. And people have told me this is new adult-esque. So I'm really scared. I'm not gonna read the summary. I'm gonna go in blind. I don't wanna spoil myself or anything. All I know is that it's about a girl named Poppy and I've seen some fan art of her, um, so. That's about it, but uh, yeah, I plan on reading this one very soon or listening to it very soon. And then I have another recommendation from a friend. Um, we have Love Flushed by Evie Mitchell. This is available through Kindle Unlimited, I wanna say, I think. Um, my friend Brie from In Love and Words recommended this book to me um, because of my recent health emergency. I've been trying to find more romances that have chronic illness representation so I could feel connected to them. And so she told me that this one has representation and so, I am very much looking forward to this. It looks like this story is about a woman who um, has some kind of like tummy issues <laughs> and she has like an illness revolving around her stomach, the interior of her stomach. The intent, like, you know what I mean? Like, like she has like tummy problems. And so as someone who has an autoimmune disorder, um, who also suffers with tummy issues, I feel like I'm really gonna connect to this. So I'm really excited. Okay, sorry if you hear a power saw. I don't know what my dad is doing. I have no idea. <laughs> I have another Jen recommendation. I have Bound to a Warrior by Donna Fletcher. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry if that is annoying. Hopefully he stops soon. <laughs> okay, so yeah, Bound to a Warrior by Donna Fletcher. Um, <laughs> sorry, the saw is getting to me. So I know that this book is on Audible and so I think I'm gonna use a credit and get it. Um, but all I know about this one is it's a historical romance where the woman and the hero don't know each other at all, but they're chained together and um, that's about it. And that's why I want to know. And I know that Jen loves this one. So I love this. I've been in a very historical romance mood right now. That's like all that I've been wanting to read at the moment besides alien romances. And so I'm obviously looking forward to this one too. Next I have Sweet Talk by Cara Bastone. I'm making it a goal to read all of Cara Bastone's backlist this year because it's very short. I only have a few more books to read by her until I've read all of her books. And so I'm so excited because she is like one of my new favorite authors. I discovered her in 2021 and I love her. Um, so I read the first book in this series, Call Me Maybe last year. And so this is Sweet Talk. This is about the heroine from book one, her brother, I'm pretty sure. Um, and people told me that it takes like place like during the same time as book one. So just a short, awesome audiobook. The first book in the series was one of my favorite reads of 2021. Like it was so good. And so I hope that this one is as good as book one. Okay, lastly, I have two new releases that are coming out in January that I wanted to get to. There are more than two books coming out in January that I'm interested in. These are just the two that I'm going to prioritize and definitely read. Obviously there's Monroe by Cressley Gull. <laughs> Um, this is book number 18 in the Morals After Dark series and I've been dying for it. I don't know anything about it, just that it is about Monroe, obviously. So, um, I want it so bad. I want the audiobook so bad. Uh, the audiobook narrator is everybody's, like, one of everybody's favorite audiobook narrators of all time because he is stunning. He is awesome. Um, but that comes out, um, January 25th. So it's towards the end of the month. So I have to wait a little bit for it. And then lastly, um, we of course have a Ruby Dixon release that I'm excited for. We have the last book in the Fireblood Dragon series, book number 10, which is called Dark Fire. Everyone has been waiting for this one. Uh, this one's, this comes out like the last day of January, January 30th. This one is about Azar and Melina, who you've read about in the previous books and like, Azar is the bad guy. Like he is the bad guy in the series. And so this is his romance with his mate. He found a human mate um, on earth. And I'm looking forward to this so much. Um, we don't really get like villain stories from Ruby Dixon. So this will be a new from her, I wanna say. And so I'm really looking forward to this. Anyways, there you have it. Those are all of the books that I plan on reading in January. Please let me know down below if you have read, read any of these books or if you plan to, or if you maybe wanna buddy read one of these books with me, I would love to know. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.